Dan Senor of the Foreign Policy Initiative is a former advisor to Mitt Romney. He joins us right now from Tel Aviv. Dan, thank you very much. Uh, what do you make of Mr. Netanyahu saying at the 11th hour, no statehood for Palestinians? Well, one is a, a just a political reality, which is the right of center vote in Israel is divided among many parties. So the so the segment of the electorate that is right of center in Israel is actually larger than the left of center electorate. But it's just divided on the right between more parties. So Netanyahu needs to consolidate that right of center vote behind him and making this statement about the no Palestinian state will help draw votes from other parties, although it is also a policy reality. There will be no, I do not expect at least, a Palestinian state in the next couple of years, right. regardless of who's in power. Sure. Because there is no interlocutor on the other side. Israel just experienced the Gaza war last summer. So it's, it's also just a statement of, of fact that it's, un, you know, it's highly unlikely there is going to be a Palestinian right. state in the near future. Well, I guess it really comes down to, in Israel, just as it does to American uh, elections as well, what is most important to the person who is voting? Uh, because the other guy, uh, Mr. Herzog, has made it very clear that he is, uh, you know, he's talking about domestic issues, the high price of food and the high price of housing. Housing apparently shot up 55 percent between 2008 and 2012, whereas Mr. Netanyahu is talking more about security. Yeah, so the, the social and economic issues are, are obviously a big deal here, uh, and they've given rise to a whole range of parties. It's not just Herzog's party, it's Yair Lapid, who's the who's just finance minister, his party, Yeshatid, this, this gentleman, Kahlon, who heads right. up another more right-of-center party, is talking about the social issues. So there are many parties capitalizing on the economic and social issues. Netanyahu has stuck with the security issue. That is always what has been, you know, wh wh who he is and what has proven sure. to be his, his most successful campaign strategy. I think it may have been a mistake. I actually think he should have talked more about the, the social and economic issues. I think he has the credentials to do so. He was a very successful finance minister right. under Ariel Sharon, but he and these close weeks have fo has focused almost exclusively on security. What, what's interesting is, uh, you know, for Mr. Netanyahu to come out at the 11th hour and say no statehood for Palestinians, that is exactly what the Obama administration has been pushing for. And yesterday, Dan, on this program, we were talking about how it looks as if the State Department funneled about $350,000 into a group that's trying to get Mr. Netanyahu unelected. It's supporting his opponent. Yeah. So, so the way, according to reports, the, the way this appears to, to have worked is the State Department made a grant to, a, to an NGO that's focused on political development, get out the vote efforts generally, not taking a political position or a partisan stake in any election. But that organization then made a grant right. to a very political group, this, this yep. V15, which is dedicated to basically unseating Netanyahu. That's the group that's hired Jeremy Byrd, the field organizer, organizer for, for uh, Obama's re-election campaign. That's where, so it's that second stage from the NGO right. to V15. And obviously it's gonna raise a lot of questions we, yep. everyone should look at. So let's see what happens right now. It is uh, 1220 in Tel Aviv. Polls are gonna close a little later on today. We'll find out later. All right, uh, Dan Senor, thank you very much for joining us today from Tel Aviv. Good to be with you, Steve. All right, good to have you.